My name is Stephen Fazio. I'm 23 years old and studying electrical engineering at Georgia Tech. So I watched this YouTuber named Bruce Yaney. On his series Homemade Science, there was this string launcher that took this loop of string and propelled it so fast through the air that it would float. At the end of 2020, I entered a circuit board design hackathon through Georgia Tech. We were tasked to design a circuit board smaller than the size of a credit card. What if I could condense that string launcher into something smaller than a credit card that I could hold in my hand? And that was the start of Zipstring. So I was working on this design from the hackathon and building it into a better string launcher. I put it on the internet and it, it got some traction. And they were asking me, where can I buy this? But I knew that it couldn't make a scalable business. That was until I met my business partner, Austin. Stephen and I attend the same church and our church leader connected us both because we love engineering. My father met Stephen and we were all nerding out, all three of us together about this device. And within 12 days later, we had a new prototype. We all were talking about how we couldn't share this anywhere on the internet or with anyone because we knew we had something just amazing. So I made a little video in my closet and I posted it on my Instagram on my TikTok. I was not supposed to post that video. This is the latest prototype of my string shooter. It has motors, these rollers, and a guide for the string. You press this button and it stabilizes midair. Oh, so stable. And by so nighttime, beautiful. it had over 20 million views on TikTok. Front page of Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. It sent like a ripple through the internet. I thought it was awesome. Everybody wanted to buy it and they didn't know where to get it. We had to figure out how to launch the whole business. You know, we got the Kickstarter running and it's, it's doing extremely well, but we got to figure out how to make thousands of these zip strings. So we set up shop here in my parents' basement. We got about six resin printers and had those running constantly. We had all the materials imported into here, the packaging, the motors, the batteries. We had all of our friends and family come in and pitch in and assemble thousands of zip strings so we could deliver them to our Kickstarter backers. As Zipstring was getting into the hands of kids and adults across the world, we got the opportunity to go on a nationwide TV show called Shark Tank. It ended up being a whole bidding war between Robert Herjavec and Kevin O'Leary, and they were fighting over the deal and it kept getting better and better. And so we ended up getting both of the sharks together on a pretty sweet deal. You know, what we learned going through the trenches of manufacturing helped us to innovate and build a better product, which we now have today, which is what we call version four. Where Tektronix comes into this is in the product design. A lot of engineering has gone into this. How do you calculate the speed of a string on different lengths and maybe the string slipping off the wheels, you know? And with that, we use the two series oscilloscope to measure all different parts of zip string so we can design and improve and make it into something amazing. I love that the 2 Series has an enormous capacitive touchscreen. Being able to kind of swipe and play through the menus makes it really easy. That is what's going to decrease my production cycle time. The whole engineering design process is sped up when we can get our data fast and accurate. And with the 2 Series, we're able to collect all that data on the different prototypes and ideas we have and allow us to make great decisions on what ideas stay and which need to go. You can tell that they paid a lot of attention to the end user. Having the same controls between the 5 Series scopes I use at Georgia Tech and the 2 Series here makes it so much easier to transition between instruments. We have some really exciting ideas and products we're going to launch here soon and I'm using the two series to develop them. We trust the accuracy and the measurements that come from this oscilloscope. One of the reasons Zipstring has become so popular and so viral around the world is because of a phenomenon we call the smile of wonderment. The first time they turn on that device, there is an expression captured on their face, and it lasts for just several seconds, of pure, raw wonderment. If we weren't able to design a circuit board that could be mass produced by the tens of thousands, this experience would not exist. Tektronix played a crucial role in designing that circuit board.